Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about the top 10 bronzers according to you. This is my favorite series right now to film. We've done primers, foundations, concealers, powders, and today we are talking bronzers. That <laughs> spooked me, my mirror like shifted. Today we're talking bronzers, which I am so excited about. Before we get into the top 10 picks, next up is blushes. So I will have a Google form in the description box if you wanna participate in the top 10 blushes according to you video. That's gonna be the next one in the series. So please go ahead and go in the description box and pause this video and fill that out really quick. It is so helpful for me. I mean, it's what makes these videos fun is your submissions, your votes, your comments. So if you have a favorite blush that you are dying to submit, please go ahead and participate by clicking the Google form link in the description box down below. Before we get into it, as always, you guys, thank you to everybody who participated in this video and all the other videos in this series. Truly, you guys are what make this series magical, and it is so fun for me every single episode to sift through all the products, to tally up your votes, and to read your reviews and comments on why you feel like these products are the best in their category. So I'm absolutely thrilled. I will say, as a little gift, I guess. I am gonna kind of cheat a little bit and I'm talking about an 11th place bronzer. Actually, there's two, but don't tell anyone. There were two bronzers that were so close to the 10th ranking as far as votes go. And there's a bronzer in here that I don't think is available anymore. So I figured, you know, to kind of balance it out, I would add a bonus. So we're going to start with actually number 11, even though technically I know there's supposed to be 10 rankings. We're having fun here. I'm just excited. So there are two bronzers tied in 11th place. The first one is dun, 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 the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. You guys, this is one of the best. I love it. By the way, if you haven't yet seen a video in this series, I go through every bronzer or product and I read through your personal reviews that you leave. So I think that's what's fun about it. It's not just me, you know, coming up with these rankings. It's you guys picking them, you guys telling me why you love them so much. So I love to read some reviews as we go along. So Lauren says, this bronzer has been my favorite for years. I love how the luminosity is not straight glitter, but makes the skin look healthy and hydrated. The colors are so gentle that you cannot seem to go overboard with it and it looks so natural. Allie, you were the one who got me to love that bronzer. We have similar skin tones, so I will forever thank you. I am so glad that you hopped onto the L'Oreal Lumi train. I tried this out a few years ago and it was truly the bronzer that I was wearing on a daily basis for a long time. So Lauren, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. I should mention this got 18 votes. So it wasn't just Lauren who really loved this bronzer. 18 of you said it was the best bronzer to exist. Another 18 of you voted for the Patrick Ta, what's this called? Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This is actually one of my favorites as well. You guys know I've been using this and talking about this since it launched basically. Anna said, this duo is really worth the hype. First of all, I love the versatility that this product gives. Both the powder and cream contour can be built up to your liking and can provide you with a glowy or matte look depending on which product you choose. The formula is amazing, the powder blends so seamlessly and the cream works great on top of the powder and under it as well. I also appreciate the packaging. The cream contour comes with a plastic lid, as you can see here, to keep it safe from fallout from the powder bronzer and the compact comes with a decent sized mirror inside, which is also true. So I loved Anna's review, thank you so much for submitting that. So yeah, those were the two bonus ones. I know that's kind of cheating a little bit, but I just wanted to share more top ranked bronzer according to you guys. All right, you guys, let's move into 10th place. We actually have two products that tied with 20 votes each. We're gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. So the Sun Stalker Bronzer is the powder version. I love this bronzer too. It's really validating actually to hear what you guys love because a lot of times it's what I love too. The shade I use is In The Sun, which is perfect for my skin tone. I love this, but it comes in so many shades. So Carla said, honestly, my favorite bronzer. I have fair neutral undertones, so I struggle with finding bronzers that aren't too red or orange. 
Silky smooth, lasts well on my oily skin, plus you can't beat the Fenty shade range. First time submitting, but I'm loving this series. Carla, thank you for submitting. Obviously your first time submitting paid off because I loved your review and thank you for participating. Melanie also loved this bronzer and she said, I love this bronzer because it's the perfect color for my skin to just give me that warmth without being too warm or too cool. I wore it on my wedding day and have almost used up a whole compact because I use it pretty much every day. It's such a smooth and silky formula too, literally the best out there. I love all of your reviews when it comes to these products in this series, but every time I see I wore this on my wedding day, I picked this for my wedding day, that really stands out to me because if you're gonna wear it on your wedding day, I mean, that has to be a holy grail for you. So that's number 10. The second bronzer to tie at number 10 is this right here from Milk Makeup. So I should mention, I asked you guys to submit your favorite bronzer, whether it was cream or powder. So there are some creams in here and this is the first cream. I used to use this all the time, you guys. It is it's very expired at this point. I need to buy a new one. Um, but I really love this product as well. Lisa said, Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer is just the best. It looks so natural on the skin, it blends beautifully and is easily buildable. I have the mini version. I used it almost every day during the summer and it doesn't look like it has been used at all. I even like it more than the NARS Creamy Bronzer. Shocking, I know. I actually haven't tried that one. I really want to. I really recommend trying it and you don't need to splurge on the full size product. The mini is going to last for years. I love that. That's such a fun tip. They do have this in a mini size. I might actually get it in a mini size myself to replace this one. Cause it's true, a little bit does go a long way. Paige said, I've gone through two of these cream bronzers if that tells you anything about how amazing this bronzer is. The shade is absolutely great for my medium skin tone. It blends like a dream no matter how you apply it, is beginner friendly and lasts all day even under a mask. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Paige. Thank you so much for submitting that. I really look forward to all of your kind little notes that you sometimes throw into these reviews. You guys are the best. I love you all so much. So those two tied at number 10. Next up we have number nine, which is dun, 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 the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now, a lot of you guys kind of said, ooh, the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer or the Chocolate Soleil or the Dark Chocolate Soleil. So, you know, everyone had like a favorite shade, but this one had 22 votes of you guys saying that you love this formula. So I have Milk Chocolate. This is actually brand new. I had my husband pick up another one because the one that I had was the old packaging and I hadn't picked up the new packaging yet. And They've had this new packaging for a while, so it was time to add this back into my collection. Cami said, I'm more of a bronzer for contour type of girl and the Chocolate Soleil bronzer is the best. I recommend it to all of my friends that ask for a rec for bronzer because it's the perfect shade and never looks too orange. It blends beautifully and the smell is an added bonus whenever you open it. It really does smell so good. I love it. By the way, as you can see, this is milk chocolate. That's the color that I use. They do have other shades. If you're wondering, Emily said, I have tried so many bronzers and this is the one that I seem to keep coming back to. It's a product that I can use all year round because the undertones are so flattering with my skin tone. So many of the bronzers I have make me feel fake tanned in the winter time, but this one is more subtle, but can also be layered up for a deeper tone without looking too fake. Also can be used well for contouring since it doesn't have a warm or orange undertone on my skin. I love that. I, I have a hard time with that as well sometimes, especially in the winter when you're not trying to look like you were at the beach, you know, it might look kind of funny. So it's nice to have something that warms the skin, adds that color back in, but doesn't look um, too obvious. So it seems like that's kind of what Emily felt about this product. So I'm actually excited to have that again. I want to reuse it because I love that formula. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally missed this. So actually there's two products that tied at number nine as well. So we have quite a few bronzers that have tied this time. So with 22 votes again is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is one that I haven't used in a while, mostly because I have pretty fair skin. So this one is pretty deep on me. However, it's such a fan favorite. Daniela said, the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna has been the only bronzer I've ever tried that actually makes me look naturally tanned. I know bronzers can show up so differently depending on skin tone, but for me, this is the perfect shade for a tan. It's like brownish golden perfection. 
in. I've given other classic Holy Grail bronzers a try, but I always come back to my beautiful NARS Laguna. Emily said, I find this bronzer to be the perfect amount of pigment, but not too much. I love that the powder isn't matte, but not sparkly either. I love a slight sheen to my bronzer. I find it gives the prettiest finish. Love you and this series. Love you too, Emily. I'm so glad you're enjoying this series. I'm not sure if you can see if this will focus. Maybe it'll help if I swatch. This does have a little bit of a sheen to it. My sweater left a mark on my hand. Um, I'm not sure if that's really showing up, but you can see it in the pan. There is a really, really beautiful there we go. There's a really nice glowy sheen to it. So just something that I wanted to show you guys. Alrighty, let's move on to eighth place. This one had 25 votes. It is this right here. <laughs> Mine is so dirty. Um, let me open it for you. Ta-da, it's from Hourglass, if you couldn't tell already. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Mine is personally in the shade Nude Bronze Light. Madeline says, this is the perfect lazy girl bronzer. There's literally no way to mess it up. You could slap it on your face in the worst way possible and it would find a way to still be gorgeous. It has never failed me and the Hourglass formula is just so beautiful and radiant on the skin. Love this series, Allie. Thank you for continuing to keep up with it. Madeline, Madeline, I hope I'm saying your name right in one of those. Please forgive me, I'm doing my best with these name pronunciations, but I'm so glad you like this series and I love you too. Sydney said, this bronzer brings my pale skin to life. This is my go-to bronzer when I'm in a hurry and need something quick and easy. It's pigmented and so easy to blend. It's also quite blurring and lasts all day. Love this series, so ready for the blushes, lol. As I said, blushes are gonna be next. Don't forget to submit your favorite blushes in the Google form, I'll have a link down below. But I loved that two Two different people that I randomly clicked on said the same thing about this bronzer. Like it's the lazy girl, quick every day, super easy to blend, slap it on your face kind of bronzer, which I think is so nice to have products like that in our collection. It's nice to have foolproof products that you can use and know it's gonna blend itself out basically when you're in a rush. Alrighty, at number seven with 28 votes is also from Fenty Beauty. So we have two Fenty bronzers. This time it's the cream version. So this is the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. I actually have this one right here to show you, which is the contour shade. I'm wearing that on my face. I'm also wearing the shade Butter Biscuit, which is a little bit more warm. So these are the two that I personally use the most. Really love these products. Let me hold up Butter Biscuit while I read these reviews. Eva says it blends so easily and is sheer enough to look very natural and sun-kissed on no makeup makeup days, but pigmented enough to go with a full face if you feel like it. And the tones aren't too warm. They're well balanced between cool tone and warm tone and they just look natural. It seems to be a theme with bronzers that people enjoy, something that's like kind of in the middle. We want something to sculpt, but also something to kind of add that warmth back in. Sarah said, the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit, which is this one actually, is my perfect shade. It never looks orange and blends seamlessly. I also love the shade Amber for contour. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize those are the two shades that I have and use, which is so underrated for some reason. Love you, Allie, and I can't wait to see everyone's favorite bronzers. Thank you, Sarah and Eva, for your reviews on this. Um, yeah, these are really amazing cream bronzers. I think it's so fun that there's such a good mix between creams and powders, high-end and drugstore. I, I love this series so much for that because it really shows you, I feel like I say this every time I film one of these, but it's true, like it really shows you that a good formula is a good formula, doesn't matter the price point. If it's high end, people are like so willing to spend the money on it if it's a holy grail item. And also people are obsessed with the drugstore products more than high end sometimes. It's just, it's so fun. All right, coming in at number six with 30 votes. Oh my gosh, I forgot this one. There's so many bronzers, I didn't collect them all. Okay, number six is this one right here, the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is so validating because not only do I have all these bronzers, I use them all, at least most of them. 
This one is so good. It's one of my favorite drugstore bronzers. Alfonso said, the perfect powder bronzer. Everything about it is perfect. The texture, the shade and undertone, the application, everything. It is so good. Rebecca said, I have tried so many high-end bronzers that are triple the price of this one, but this is quite literally the only bronzer I have ever repurchased multiple times and used up entirely. As someone with fair to light skin and neutral undertones, most bronzers swing either way too warm or way too cool toned, this one is perfect. It sits right in between and looks so natural and beautiful on the skin. It blends out beautifully and the lasting power is incredible. And it's under $10. This isn't just a good for the drugstore bronzer, this is just a really good bronzer that beats out a lot of high-end products. I would have to agree, I think it's incredible as well. The way it blends is beautiful and it really shows you when you like repurchase something, especially with with all the products that launch these days, if you're repurchasing makeup, it's gotta be good, you know? Coming in at number five with 33 votes, are the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzers. Now, a few people said the shade Tantric. Some people really loved the shade Coconut. It's these right here, so I'll show you Tantric. I think this was the most suggested shade. Here's that one. I love the large pan size. And here is the Coconut one. So I'll show you side by side. The Tantric one is a little bit more warm. You can't really tell since it's like white and black packaging, so they kind of look similar. But this one is a little more warm toned. Melissa said, I have used several bronzers over the years. Bronzer is my favorite step in my makeup routine. When I found out about Marc Jacobs Tantric, I had to try it with all the great reviews. I absolutely hope they don't discontinue this bronzer as it has been the best for me thus far. Enjoy your videos, Allie. I have really bad news, Melissa. <laughs> this is actually the bronzer that is gonna be discontinued. Marc Jacobs Beauty is actually going out entirely as a whole brand. So, it ranked at five, so clearly so many people really enjoy this still. I wanted to include it still, um, but this is the one that is probably gonna be hard to get for a while. I don't even know if it's still available, but I still wanted to feature it because a lot of people probably own this, so I wanted to make sure to mention it anyway. Elise said, such a beautiful powder bronzer. It looks so natural, never blotchy or patchy and wears beautifully all day. You also get a good amount of product, you really do, making it worth the price. So sad it's being discontinued. See, so Elise must have heard the Marc Jacobs news that it's being discontinued, so hopefully I didn't break too many of your hearts if you're someone who really loves this bronzer, but I mean, the pan size is massive, so if you own it already, it will probably last you a long, long time. Alrighty, let's move into number four, you guys. 38 people voted that the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer was their favorite and the best out there. I personally have the shade Fair. I wanna pick up more of these because I also really, really enjoy this. <laughs> I mean, I should have cleaned these off probably before showing you, but I mean, it really shows you. I, I love so many of these bronzers. Gloria said, love this bronzer for my mature skin. I also have a neutral undertone, so a lot of bronzers look orangey on me, and this one looks like a bronzer. So good. I use two shades depending on the time of year and if I have a tan or not. And with the hyaluronic acid, it helps keep my skin from looking dry all day. Definitely worth the price. Teresa said, I absolutely love everything about this bronzer, starting with the most beautiful packaging. It really is such a pretty package. I love the experience of putting this on every time I open it. I have fair skin, but use shade medium, and it's honestly the most flattering bronzer I own. It doesn't emphasize texture and has a beautiful finish on the skin. I also love that you can buy refills to this at a cheaper price and cuts down on waste. Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite makeup brand, and this bronzer is a good example of why. Love your channel, Allie. Thank you, I'm so glad you love my channel. So yes, actually this is a refillable pan. You can see right here, maybe I'll demonstrate. You would just take some things, my um, eyebrow pencil works. You would just press through the back, pull this out, and you have your depotted pan. So you could recycle this, buy your refill, and it just will magnet right back in. Super cool packaging. All right, you guys, are you ready for the top three bronzers? According to you, I fully, fully stand by this one. I was so happy that like my little bronzer baby has made it into the top three because this is, as you all probably know, one of the best bronzers in my opinion to ever exist. And I'm so glad so many of you guys agree. So with 63 votes, ta-da, the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer 
comes in third place with all its glory. I'm obsessed with this one. Loretta said, holy grail. Bronzers can be tricky, but this one is foolproof and looks flawless. It's the only bronzer I've ever tried that truly blends out and looks completely natural. I love it. And one of my favorite parts about it is that there's no fallout whatsoever. So it's never messy in my makeup bag and it looks silky smooth on the skin. I got this from your recommendation, Ali. Thank you so much. Life wouldn't be the same without this bronzer, LOL. Okay. Listen, I am so glad that you heard about it from me because I think everyone needs to try it if you haven't yet. I agree. I love this one. That's no secret. You guys probably already know. Francis said, ah, yes, the beauty on the budget bronzer I know I can always rely on. This bronzer blends in so flawlessly, doesn't look too cakey, and isn't too dull or flat. I know I can count on this and it will look just as good when I put it on 12 hours later or even longer. Bronzers have been a big hit and miss with me, but this one has a special place in my heart and so does this series. I love your channel, Allie. Thank you, Francis. I'm so glad you love this bronzer. I'm so glad you are enjoying my channel. I appreciate you so much and I'm glad you're loving this series. I am obsessed with it too. It's so fun for me to film. Alicia said, first, I owe you such a huge thank you on this bronzer. You have raved about this bronzer and love the undertone of it. I really do, it's so good. You and I have very similar complexions, so I thought I'd give it a try. OMG, this bronzer is to die for. It is my ride or die, holy grail. I feel amazing when I wear it. It's simply perfect. I feel like you can't overdo it and I'm in love with it. Thank you so much, Allie, for the recommendation on this one. I am loving this series and I love you too. You are such a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Alicia. I adore you all so much. You do not have to write nice notes in your reviews, but I truly appreciate all the kind words that were written. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you're enjoying this bronzer. So glad you're loving this series. It truly is my holy grail as well. I, I love this one so much. It is better than so many of my high-end bronzers, I feel. All right, you guys, we are almost done. At number two is a classic. With 80 votes, the Hula Benefit Bronzer comes in in second place. This has really stood the test of time, hasn't it? Like, it's been around for years. People really love it, clearly. Amy said, I like a more neutral bronzer and this one does it for me. It's not too warm, not too cool. Just like the Baby Bear's Porridge, it's just right. I loved that little Goldilocks reference. It blends out like a dream and I love I can use it either as a bronzer or a light contour if I'm feeling a little extra. It lasts all day on my oily combo skin and I live in Florida and deal with humidity on the regular, which is a major plus as well. I should show you the inside. This also comes in um, a few different shades. There were submissions saying, ooh, the Hula Light or the Hula Caramel. Like, so people really enjoyed the formula and, and people were enjoying a lot of different shades, but the original Hula shade was what was talked about the most, I feel like. Jenny said, this bronzer has been my go-to for years. It gives you warmth and is able to give your face contour as well. It blends well and is very much forgiving. I am an avid fan and even my fiance knows your name as he always sees me watching your channel. Love you all the way from the Philippines. Thank you, Jenny, for your sweet review. I actually went to the Philippines a few years ago and loved it. I would love to go back. So it made me so happy to see that you're from the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Stephanie said, Benefit Hula has been my go-to ever since I tried it many years ago. Not too warm, not too cool, no shimmer or glow, but it's got a beautiful finish. It always works with whatever look I'm going for. Front and center on my vanity every single day. Fun fact, I use it in my crease just as much as I do on my face. I love that because for me, that's what I use bronzer for as well. Anytime I'm in a time crunch and I need to do a quick eye look, you guys know, it's one of my favorite tricks to just dip my eyeshadow brush into bronzer and put that through the crease. So I'm glad to hear that Stephanie also does that with this bronzer. Okay, you guys, it was so clear to me what the winner was here. Um, I feel like the majority of the people that participated in this submission voted for this bronzer. 220 people voted for this bronzer and I'm sure you could guess what it is. Ba -ba! It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, you guys. Now, this comes in a lot of different shades. The shade bronzer was the most talked about, but I heard a lot about the shade Sunkissed and um, this one is light bronzer. But my favorite is bronzer. I just wanted to get the new packaging, so this one is light bronzer. I don't know if I've tried this shade before. Also, by the way, don't ask me what I have on my face. I, I'm wearing like every bronzer in here. I've got the Fenty Cream one. I've got the 
Charlotte Tilbury one, I've got the Hourglass one, I've got a little bit of the Physician's Formula, it's a whole mishmash. So anyway, let's read the reviews from you guys on this famous bronzer coming in at number one. Crystal said, this bronzer gives you the most effortless bronzed look while looking natural. It blends like a dream and leaves you with the most perfect radiant bronze. And it's drugstore. I've tried tons of bronzers, but I will always continue to come back to this one. Madison said, I love this bronzer. As a college student, it is an awesome no fuss product that I can always count on looking gorgeous. It also doesn't break the bank and lasts me a good amount of time. P.S. I am obsessed with this series. Love you, Allie. I'm so glad you like this series. Thank you, Madison. I love you too. Amanda said, this is the OG for me. When I started getting into makeup, the Butter Bronzer was the first bronzer I ever purchased. And boy, was I obsessed with it from the second I opened up the packaging. The smell of the coconut goodness alone gets me excited to do my makeup every day. I love so many other bronzer formulas, most recommended by you. That makes me so happy. But I always go back to this one. If I had done my own makeup on my wedding, I would have been 100% confident in using the Butter Bronzer. Everything from pigmentation, ease of blendability, creamy yet matte, and so dang smooth, it's perfect in my opinion. Love you so much, Allie. Thank you for all of your inspiring and fun content. Amanda, you are so sweet. I love this review. I have to agree with you on the smell. I mean, tell me. I know so many of you guys own this, but I don't think there's a person who doesn't like the smell of this bronzer. It's so good. Abby said, it was so hard for me to choose just one bronzer. I love so many, Milani, Huda, Fenty, but if I could only use one bronzer for the rest of my life, it would be the Butter Bronzer. It smells delicious, blends beautifully over other powders or creams, and the color is just perfect for my skin tone. It doesn't pull too orange, gives just the right amount of warmth. I love this series, Allie. Thank you for being you. You guys, gosh, you are so nice. I love you all. I feel like you're all my best friends. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for all your sweet messages mixed into your reviews. So yeah, guys, that completes it. Those are the top bronzers according to you guys. I just, uh, I live for this series. It is so fun. And every time I post this series, you guys, I get comments saying at the end of the series, please do a video using all the number one products per category. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So don't worry. I will be doing that when we complete the series, but we have quite a few more episodes to go. So again, blushes next, you guys. Don't forget to participate. Please submit your favorite blushes. It can be cream or powder. I don't care. Just throw in your favorite blush of all time. I cannot wait to do blush because blush is my favorite. I, I live for blush. So that's going to be next. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if you were shocked by the rankings or if you were like, oh, nope, that makes sense. If the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer deserves the number one spot, or if that was surprising to you, I would love to know. Let me know also if there's a bronzer that didn't make it onto the list that you think everybody needs to know about. Feel free to comment that down below as well. If you've missed any other episode from the series, whether it's primer or concealer or foundation or powder, I will have all of those listed down below and linked for you. And it's in a playlist. So if you wanna just catch up on all of the different products that you guys voted for, check out the playlist in the description box as well. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alex and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today, you guys. I loved filming this. I loved hearing from you about your favorite bronzers because bronzer really is one of my favorite steps in makeup too, so. I had fun today using 12 different bronzers on my face as I did my makeup. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video and I can't wait to see you in my next episode of this series. It's truly so rewarding for me. I love this series. So thanks in advance to everybody who's gonna help me with blushes. Thank you again to everybody who submitted. For bronzers, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to write all your reviews. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.